My book. You have my book. My book. If you have to make a report, it's natural to wonder what happens next. Although you might never know the final outcome, your report will trigger an investigation that may stop needless suffering. It may take some time before a mandated reporter sees any results from anything that they report, and a number of agencies may be conducting investigations in ways that the mandated reporter is not aware of. As a mandated reporter, you have a legal obligation. Because of that, there are strong penalties for anyone who fails to report. Failure to report is a very serious matter. You know, the penalties are substantial. If you fail to report, you could receive up to six months in jail and a $1,000 fine. But if great bodily injury or death takes place because of a failure to report, the penalties increase to one year in jail and a $5,000 fine. And we as a society are taking this very seriously, and we will move forward to prosecute for failure to report. The law recognizes your sensitive position as a mandated reporter. Because of that, you are provided with two key protections. The first is immunity from civil and criminal liabilities. If an employee reports something, their employers can't do anything to them in retribution, uh, that their employers would be breaking the law if they did that. The law strictly prohibits the facility or the employer, if you will, from taking any action against them. They'd be vigorously prosecuted. The second protection you have is confidentiality. Your identity as a reporter can only be disclosed to authorized investigating agencies. If anyone violates your confidentiality, they are guilty of a misdemeanor, punishable by up to six months in county jail, a fine of $500 or both. We will keep the person who reported the, the incident anonymous so that the facility has no standing in, in pursuing any kind of action against the employee. Those who suspect or observe abuse must report it because, quite simply, it's the law. The law says they are required and mandated. If you work in a facility, you are a mandated reporter. That means if you don't report, you're breaking the law and you can be arrested. The law goes hand in hand with the employees, what should be their mission that if there's abuse, they should be part of the team of people that are trying to protect the elders. I tell them all to report everything and anything they see. If they have a doubt, report it, because it's better reported than not reported at all. Unless you get involved, the abuse will continue, or the person or facility will get away with it, and the person has an obligation when they see abuse to act on it. If it was their own mother or their own um, brother, that this was happening to. Would they want someone to overlook that? Mandated reporters truly are the first line of defense for us. Unless mandated reporters come forward, these things will never come to light. We will never put an end to abuse and stop this increasing trend. It's your legal duty to report. By reporting, you are following the law. By not reporting, you are breaking the law. It's that simple. The purpose is clear, to protect those who can't protect themselves. Everyone has the right to be safe and secure in their own home. And for many, a long-term care facility is their home. Most residents are frail. Many can't speak for themselves. And many more may not even comprehend that they are being abused. Helping protect them from agony, pain, and suffering is your responsibility. My mother was... Um born in Oklahoma, and she loved her family very much. She was very uh, family-oriented. She loved to fish, and she was quite a left-handed fisherman. My dad used to tease her about that and her casting, but she loved that, and she loved her church and her church family. She always found a church that she could be happy in. My mother was uh, 92 when she went into this nursing facility. She went in in June. She passed away in August. Nobody called except my mother that night. She wanted me to know she was having trouble with the nurse, and she knew she was in trouble. She had started having all the symptoms of having a massive heart attack there. And uh, they knew it. Being 92, she would have gone 
in a couple of weeks, months, two months. Maybe she'd have gone another year or two. But it would have been her time. Not because somebody else didn't do the right thing.